frozen when heaven extinguished the pyre. But one spark is enough to reignite a revolution. Igniting a revolution. Just one spark. The Bone Shaker, our train, travels the rail connecting our two worlds. The last surviving remains of the pyre drives the heart of our engine. The gilded wing will stop at nothing to destroy it. But the champions of hell will defend what's ours. Because if we don't, there will be nothing left to defend. So epic. All right, so Monster Train, brand new game. This is going to be my first time playing it. Probably the first time for a lot of y'all. Let's go single player. This is, you can't, like, so this is a, a deck building game that's kind of similar to Slay the Spire, and it does have online multiplayer. Also, we're going to do single player. Um, this is just the very beginning. I'll just do start new run. All right, welcome to hell. Your train is carrying precious cargo, the last remaining shard of the pyre. Okay, so we have one remaining shard of the pyre, which is needed to relight the fires in the depths of hell. Invaders from heaven, the winged, will do anything to prevent you from completing your journey. Okay, so we have to get this shard of the pyre um, to the depths of hell. All right, well, battle. Here we go. Okay, let's see what this is like. Uh, no, we don't really need these up here. I can, uh, I can take those out. There you go. Heaven's priests. These disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of heaven and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. Okay, these are heaven's priests. Uh, looks like 4 attack, 50 health. 2 attack, 25 health. 0 attack, 1 health. But this thing restores things. Okay. Okay, multiplayer is more like play against the world and time test to see who can complete daily tasks the fastest. Gotcha. All right, this is your pyre. If it takes too much damage from enemy attacks, your run is over. Ah. All right, enemies have boarded our train. Enemies at the lower level. They enter at the lower level and they move up one level every turn. If they reach the top, they'll attack the pyre. All right, so we have to summon units to defend the train. You can play each unit card only once per battle. Okay, makes sense. So they try to go up a level each turn and get to the pyre. Okay. Gotta keep them from doing that. So it looks like we have eight our pyre health is 80. We have 50 coins. Uh, 15 cards in our deck. Our pyre can defend itself. Our pyre has an attack power. Interesting. We draw five new cards at the beginning of each turn. Three ember, whatever that is. Okay, so let's play this. Looks like it looks like it's a zero mana armor ten multi strike one. Okay, coins are really important. Okay, good to know. So damage is dealt to the armor before the health. So it's basically has like you have to do six, ten damage to this armor thing and then you do six damage to the health. Okay. Uh, we'll play this guy. Each floor of the train has limited capacity. The amount of space a unit will take up is indicated by the number of pips on its guard. Okay. Okay, that, that's the top number basically right, right here at the very top. So that has two pips. So I'll take up two spots. All right, then we got these torches. Um, 
So it looks like we have two Ember. Like, I don't want to do two damage to my own things. So do I just end turn? Oh, go down a floor? Oh, oh okay, so I should have put them down here. Oh, whoops. Eh, that's fine. Uh, do two damage to that thing. Sweet. Alright, I'll just end turn. I don't need those. Ah, there's more of them. Alright, you can chill in here. I guess these regens don't really do much. Kill that thing off. So do I... Does, like... Is this, is this just always three every turn? Like, if I... Like, do I just spend this every turn? I can't, like, bank it? It doesn't look like... Yeah, I know this is, like, the tutorial fight. Um... Let's go for it here. You you get one regen. You're cool. You get a regen. Oh, yeah, if we don't kill them, they keep going up. Oh, no, I gotta kill these guys. Uh... So, what, these things have five attack? Let's see, this has eight health. So, yeah, we gotta, gotta kill that. Um, here, restore two health and get regen. All right, end turn. So it's kind of like a deck building game with a tower defense kind of aspect. Okay. So Relentless combat will continue in the room until you or the enemy is defeated. So they just keep on fighting and whoever, they don't just attack once. Heal 2 regen card doesn't seem very good. There are relics that let you store energy and options later to increase your energy per turn. Okay. Alright, so that floor is done. Now we're just burning. Trying to kill this thing. Got him. Our guy got to attack twice a turn. Ooh, got some spoils. Got a clan pack, an allied clan pack. Two turn boss rush. Alright, so we get to choose a card. Um, a one mana, one one summon, apply armor 15 to the front friendly unit. That's cool. Apply a rage 6 times 2x attack per stack. Decreases every turn. Cost three mana for that? Doesn't seem very good. Um, all right. Most of the we, this guy's really good. Most of the imps are good. All right, cool. Oh, I could I could skip and get ten coins instead. That's not bad. No, I don't like this. No, we don't need regen. Now they're, all these are spells. Restore two health to all friendly units and deal two damage to all enemy units on one floor. Reasonable. Um, hmm. So the middle one's good and Glimmer is good gives them four basically basically gives them additional four attacks like whenever they attack our thing they take four damage but it costs two I'll take this glimmer yeah okay if we make super powered up guys hard for them to kill okay so we're going to get 75 coins Forge your spells to gain new powers. Okay. 
Ooh, I like this. Removing a card from your deck. We have a, we have a bunch of those really crappy cards. I like that. All right, what else? We, we can upgrade a spell. Upgrade a spell with plus 10 magic power. Upgrade a spell to cost minus one. Over. When played, this card is placed on top of your girl's bones. I like purging. Get rid of these things. We have six. Alright, so this is our deck. We have six torches, which aren't any good. We have six restores, which aren't any good. I don't know. Maybe we need to get some more powerful. Like, what is this card? Upgrade a spell to gain holdover. I don't know what that really means. I guess let's figure it out. Upgrade a spell. We'll upgrade this torch. No, maybe this glimmer. Upgrade this glimmer. Alright, I don't know what just happened. We'll figure it out. When this card is played, when played, this card is placed on top of your draw pile. Okay, so that's it? Oh, it doesn't actually upgrade the card? Ugh. Okay, never mind. That's not that good. Okay, now what? Battle again. Barb Dis Disciples. All right, so these guys got some spikes. All right, so that's the boss, the Relentless. And then uh, zero attack, five health, armor, 25. One and one. Other friendly units on the same floor gain a bonus. They gain spikes. Okay. That guy's good. I will grant him regen. Okay, in turn. Yeah, so we want our imp in the back row. Seems like a lot of stuff. So basically, I guess this turn, like this guy would be taking nine, this guy would be taking thirteen. Like that's what's gonna happen. Like they kind of tell us. Looks like maybe he's dying. Maybe that's what that X means. These torches are pretty powerful with how weak these enemies are. They just kills enemies right away. Oh, wait. These things are stay alive and they go up there. Oh, no. I gotta save them. Right. I forgot about that. Ah, uh, stop them. Stop them. Job higher. Uh, a ton of health, but it's going down seventy four, sixty nine, sixty eight. They're just gonna keep on going down until either all of my things die or this thing dies because it has relentless. It looks like my things are gonna die first. Yes. Alright, we'll. 
We'll be able to kill this in the next one, though. Fit another train steward. Too many pips. Got him. All right, get some gold, get a pack. Let's see. Another imp summon. Apply three rage to friendly units. Plus two attack per stack. So it's like plus six attack. That decreases each turn. Or the armor. Let's go with the fledgling imp. Alright, deal three damage, move that unit to the front. Okay, not bad. Draw plus one each turn. Eh. I think, you know, probably if we had like a, a better deck, this could be really valuable, but not really how our deck is. I like this Glimmer. This Glimmer seems pretty decent. Yeah, deal two to all their stuff and heal all my stuff too. We'll take that. Okay, so now we're in the, the next le level. We're in the Bogward. Bogworms Remains. Okay, I don't need to restore 20 health. Oh, so I can click on like any of these things. Gain a Hellhorn dude. Um, so, a 10-15 resolve, gain 5 armor. Uh, resolve triggers after combat. Rage 4. Slay after dealing a killing blow. Apply Rage 3 to friendly units. Pretty awesome. This one attacks for a whole lot. This one stays alive longer. Hmm. Okay, this one stays alive longer. Alright, we're going to the caverns. Fissure in the ice forces the bone shaker to stop. You've seen cracks like this before, often allowing you to multiply your forces through some ancient magic. This one's different. Unstable. Throwing something in the fissure could have an unusual side effect, while just absorbing the energy from afar could have the more expected effect. Copy a card five times? I don't know if I want any of my cards five times. Did I get two of those things now? We do have two of those with the Keepstone. So we had another steel worker. Okay. Attack. Heavily armored creation. Dang. 250 health. And it has a damage shield. between floors freely but cannot but can be attacked if you clear out the other enemies on that floor watch out for triggers this bomb has a triggered ability that will explode on its turn and dealing and damage mouse over units with the purple trigger icon to so their abilities all right so on turn despawn deal 10 damage to the front enemy unit dang 
All right, well, let's start with, I guess this is our champion. Start with our champion. We'll put the wielder helper behind it. And then the steel worker behind it. And then we'll torch and kill. Uh, it's a difference between these, just four, four attack, five attack. Oh, this thing has recover? Yeah, let's kill that thing. So what do y'all think about this game so far? Obviously our, our decks are deck is very basic, it's very rudimentary. We just started the game. That was a nice glimmer. Check out both of them. Okay, it's gonna do 10 damage to the front enemy unit. Can I can I kill this thing? I'm gonna try. Now has a damage shield. Now can I kill it with another glimmer? Okay, yeah, I got a glimmer twice. Okay. And then put you in the back. Give them some rage. And then. Champion mage, my champion mage out. Give this guy regen. Hey, any? Yeah, just trying, just trying out monster train. This is my very first time playing it. Um, I already had. Uh, we already played Legends of Runeterra today. Um, had some, had some uh, really great uh, success at the end. We, our last 15 games, we were 14 and one over in Masters rank, and now. Um, just kind of having bonus stream time. Normally I'd be done streaming. This time I've got some bonus stream trying out this new game. Um, kind of have to kill this thing. Alright, got it. This guy like relentless, I guess. Just keeps on going. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh 
I don't think, I think this guy's gonna kill me. I only have to do 128 damage. I kind of think I'm dead. Hey, yeah, congrats, Matthew. You got approved for an auto loan? Congrats. Pyre does attack for 20. So I messed up the Pyre. So the Pyre went from 80 health to 40. Half damage taken. All right. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 5x the number of imps, imp units in your deck. Ooh, 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 15. I do like imps. What is this? Draw a unit and enhance it with plus 20 attack, plus 20 health, and zero cost? That seems ridiculous. Okay, this is as good as I think it is, because yeah, that sounds ridiculous. All right, we'll take it. Um, so one of these two thorned hollows, I want to take this one with a 15 attack. Yeah, let's take this awoken, or I guess that's a thorned hollow, that's an awoken hollow. Let's take that one. Major enchantments. Okay, we get an, an, an or enhancement, not enchantment, enhancement. You can get that upgrade with no consume with the plus one mana cost. Okay, all right, so this one's pretty important. So, okay, we either draw, draw one additional card each turn. Our Pyre gets plus 10 attack and plus 30 health. Uh, we get one extra mana each turn, or we get one unit capacity for each floor. I think I want one additional mana each turn. I want, I want to be able to spend more cards. We're, we're just already wasting these cards anyway. Okay, our deck's leveling up. Okay, so it looks like I could either take this route. So we're going down. See, I always, I always kind of thought that we were like going up. It took me a couple of floors to realize we're going down because we're descending in, into hell. So we're on the fourth ring. Okay, so we're in the fourth ring of hell. So we got the Merchant of Magic, Awoken Banner, Forgotten Boons, and Dark Forge. Or we go this way, then we get Dark Forge, Pyre Remains, gain an artifact, and select and remove up to two cards from your deck. Ooh, I like this. Uh, here we go. Let's go this way. Get rid of these restores. I don't want to draw them. We got these glimmers with holdover. Gain an artifact. I don't know what artifacts are going to do, but it's going to be sweet. Alright, friendly units get plus three health or 50% chance to swap the front and back enemy units when they enter your train. Ugh, I don't like that one. It's probably just this, right? Like, is this is just a permanent thing? All my friendly units get plus three? Okay, yeah, so it's, okay, so yep, that's like an artifact like this. Okay, cool. Kind of like the art, like the, like those are similar in Slay the Spire. Okay. Okay, so yeah, these are the artifacts. Okay, so yeah, artifacts are good. Get 20 of that health back. And upgrade our champion. Okay, so we can, we can go Brawler 2 or Reaper. Okay, this game's sweet. We're getting there. Um, six times three. 
is 18. 25 times 2 is 50. That's a big difference. So this has armor 15, which is more than armor 10. This has multi-strike 2, so it does the 6 times 3 twice. And after, I mean, this one just seems like a lot better. I don't know. I'm probably missing something. This one seems better. Ooh, got an achievement unlocked, which is behind my camera. Okay, if you upgrade him to the left one later on, it could be better. Clips Tormentors. They might be low-level recruits from the Clippered. <laughs> Clippered. From the Clipped. Uh, but they'll overload you with penance if you don't take them out quickly. Ooh. So I can get a whole bunch more coins if I let them have Spell Shield too. Hmm. I do use a lot of spells. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so yes. Yeah, so that's, that's really cool, though. You get to customize your fight and get additional rewards, maybe. That's really cool. I'm going to go off. Because, yeah, we have a lot of spell damage in our deck, and that would prevent, yeah, prevent two spell damage at a time. All right, champion, get to work. Let's get you in the front. Not enough capacity. Alright, end turn. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, so purge res reserve. Your pyre takes three damage? Wait, what is this? Once played, this card is removed from your deck for the rest of the run. Oh, so this is a bad thing. It looked cool. But it's a bad thing. Alright, go down. Give these guys Rage 3. Yeah, give our champion Rage 3. Alright, let's put you up here. In the back. Yeah, so it's a curse. Stay in the deck. I don't want to deal three to my pyre. Don't care if you're in the deck. Our deck's doing awesome anyway now. Oh, like, will it be in the next battle? And everything? Oh, it does three damage if you don't play it? Oh. Never mind, I should have played it. Whoops. Oh yeah, we're playing this thing. <laughs> Alright, that's ridiculous. Come chill up here. Here, nah. 
deck is awesome. There's no there's nobody around. Oh, is this guy like almost dead? Just a regen that guy? Yeah, he's at 21 to 79. Oh, I should have regen that guy. Real big guy gets plus 60 max HP when entering. So he can be healed further to buff him up. Okay. Yeah, crush that battle. Deal 2x two two damage to enemy units. Ooh, that vent's looking good. Welder Helper is good though. We've liked that, but. So I'm going to apply three rage to friendly units. Gosh, this one's good, too. Spends all of your maybe ember. Oh! Two times whatever X is. So, like, if we have, like, two remaining embers, it does four to enemy units. Oh, okay. Eh, whatever. I'll take this in. All right, deal five to the front enemy unit. Draw one next turn. Apply five regen. This could be really good with the big guy. That could be really good with the big guy. All right, restore 10 health to a friendly unit. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to five times the amount of health, the amount healed. Uh, yeah, this is this is great with that big guy. All right, we'll grab that. All right, detonation's always good. Okay, we are in the fifth ring of hell. Let's see, on this side we can restore Pyre Health, um, get something cool in the Concealed Caverns, and duplicate any card. If we do have an awesome card to duplicate, um, forge your spells to gain new powers, get some coins, and select and remove two cards from your deck. Oh, I like that too. Removing stewards is always good. Okay, good to know. So yeah, so we should probably do this remove cards. Yeah, I do I do love removing cards. Alright, we're gonna get rid of one of these restores. And we'll keep one, I guess, and then you say removing stewards is good. Alright, we'll remove a steward. Grab these coins. And spend some coins. Alright, so we can give Permafrost to a spell. Gain Frozen when drawn. Frozen, this card will not be discarded at the end of turn. Frozen is removed when this card is played. So basically you get to play the spell twice. Like, you know, it doesn't leave your hand. You can play it again and then the Frozen's removed. Alright, do I just do like all of these basically? <laughs> so we'll purge a restore <laughs> and you won't discard it for turn. Oh, okay. Oh, we could yeah, we could just keep purging. <laughs> I want to make this glimmer cost zero, right? Because then it has the like it, it has the keepstone, so it keeps coming back. But then it costs zero. Uh, 
Oh, I can't do the zero mana one. Not, not eligible. Oh, because slot's full because it only has two slots. Okay, okay. Well, let's do this one. This holdover one does 12. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go purge another train steward. Okay. All right, here we go. Non-boss enemy units enter with spike four. Oh, but then we get a random artifact. Random artifact, pretty awesome. What do y'all think? Should we should we risk it? Yeah, Spike is really bad for our hero. That is true. Spike's super bad for our hero for how it attacks a ton. Uh, our, these artifacts are so good. All right. Yeah, you're probably right, Gamma, that, like, our our hero probably just dies right away with that. Because, yeah, I guess it will kill him with one turn, right? Because he has, like, eight health. All right, we won't, I won't do it. I won't do it. I wanted to. I sure did. I wanted to. Okay. All right, so we get, get our hero out here. Get this guy in front of the hero, right, so he takes more damage because he gains this armor. And then put the big guy on the second level. And this thing's free. Well, that's cool. Kill all them. Do I want a train steward with this? I kind of don't. We'll just throw like this train steward up here. I don't really want to put him with, with this guy. Oh, what? How oh, this guy? On death, he gains 75? Wait. Alright, how do we kill this thing? Resolve. Triggers that flees from battle if not rooted or dazed. What am I supposed to do? Can I... Can I kill this guy? If not rooted or dazed? I don't even know what that means. How do I kill this thing? Okay, the steward will take care of him. Okay, that's the X mean he's gonna die, so that's good. Okay, okay. Good, good. Alright, get the, get our Rage 3. Let's go. 31 times 2. And... Uh, we'll, get, we'll get you in front to protect the big guy. And then, uh... Yeah, just do... Two damage to everything. Um, two damage, two damage. Sweet, I just gained 75 gold. Nice. Hmm. All right, another train steward up here. This guy looks kind of scary. He's only taking one damage from these. Oh, no, he took two there. Okay. Still got 28 health. Oh, I should have killed. I should have just killed all those things, shouldn't I? They look pretty stealthy. Alright. I should have done this on there. Yeah. All right, get rid of those. Um, all right, this guy's gonna die. That guy's gonna die. 
We'll just restore 12 health here, give this guy some more health. And everything, capacity is full, can't play this anymore. We did, Grace Claw. Yeah, we completed the 5 0 with Mage Seeker Lux. We did. Um. Now what am I supposed to do? I guess I just restore health. Anything else? Oh, you're kind of hurt down here. I'll give you 10 health. Okay. Get a turn just to restore health. 500? HP gets ridiculous. So our champion's dead. I can't pass the welder helper. At two seventy. combat. No. 150. Ooh, okay. We can restore 10, I guess. The only one that can restore a lot, too. Yeah, we only do. So we get to restore 5 and then deal 25. That's good. Do our whole 12 thing. Two, two, two. All right, 107. You can always fortune him to play a new one. Oh, okay. So I could, I could use one of my like two damage things to play a new one. That's smart. Okay. Ouch. Battle was won. Took a lot of damage though. Pyre Chomper. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 4x the amount of armor on friendly units. That seems like it could be really good. It'll be a lot of damage. Thank you. Restore 25 health to draw plus 2 the next turn. Okay, this could be really good with that, that one guy. Sting is a 0 mana. Deal 5 damage to the front enemy unit plus draw 1 the next turn. Hmm. So yeah, it's basically a free 15... Draw 3, 15 damage. But the draw three just replaces those three that it takes. So it kind of slows your deck down, but it's a free 15 damage. I don't love it. I'm gonna get this focused growth. Oh, because it adds them to your hand. Oh, right, not to the just the deck. I was thinking it just added them to your deck, it adds them to your hand. So that is a free 15 damage, then draw three the next turn. Okay. All right, well, that seems pretty good. All right, we'll take it. Never mind, add it to the hand. Okay. Sixth ring, what do we got? This is, like, my favorite part of the game is, like, doing the upgrading. All right, we got 20 pyre health. 
75 coins. I guess that's nothing. And then Merchant of Steel. Or gain an artifact. Merchant of Trinkets, which can give us more artifacts. And the Concealed Caverns. I want to go, I think I want to go this way, right? Get these artifacts. Left. All right, Yud says left. Here we go. Let's, uh, do we do the caverns first or the artifacts first? Let's do the caverns first. All right, what do we get in these caverns? A penance yard. Oh no. Okay, one with the ember. Gain an ember stasis. And three calcified embers. So three blights. Blah, but playing a blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. Okay. I mean, this is my very first time playing the game. It's basically, it's kind of like uh, Slay the Spire if you played that game. Like, we're, we're building a deck. So artifacts are like, so these artifacts are permanent, they're like permanent buffs, basically, to us. So, and then like these Blight cards, they do nothing. It, I, it costs three mana to play this Calcified Ember just to get it out of my hand, and it purged, so it's removed from the deck for the rest of the run, but it does 100 damage. This seems pretty sweet. You love Slay the Spire? This is like the, this is like a new, a new take kind of on the, that kind of game that's uh, really cool. Yeah, so it's it's 100 damage gone forever. So basically, we have three like bombs in our deck that can do 100 damage each that we can cast at a certain time. All right, so this thing says, when summoned, friendly units get plus one attack for every Blight card in your deck. Yuck. No, this is bad. And you get three dead weights. No, unplayable, unpurgeable. Or this, when you play your first Blight card each turn, restore five Pyre health. And then um, you just play this, get it out of your deck, restore five Pyre health. So basically this is going to be like three mana, gain 15 Pyre health. I think I like this one. Do 100 damage. Let's get that one. Okay, now we can go get some more artifacts. Let's get this one first, okay. Um, at the start of your turn, add a sting spell to your hand. Ooh, we just get one of those every single turn. Get a five damage, plus draw one every turn. Okay, that's great. Um, or apply rooted to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyro room. So basically it slows them down a turn. It basically adds an additional turn they have to be in that room. Yeah, this this is good. Okay, let's get some Your Pyre gets plus 40 health. Units cost just minus two. Or apply dazed to enemy units when they enter the pyre room. Your pyre gets minus five attack. Eh. I think I like this plating. Yeah. Gain 40 health, pyre. Okay. Time to battle. Game's pretty sweet. Um, this guy looks really scary. Thirteen hundred health with multi strike, ten power. Fell's really hard. He ends a lot of runs. 
This is the second final second final boss. I do like how it like says, you know, each each person has like their own music. That's cool. Scourge cards to your hand. Okay, well. It's just how it goes, I suppose. Dang, this looks intense. Alright, so there's all these like statues that I gotta kill. Pyre takes five damage if I don't play this. So, champion. This is cost, cost one. have you up here. Cast this thing. Um, so I guess I'm supposed to keep restoring, I guess I'm supposed to keep healing this thing because then it gets an additional attack every time I do. And then, yeah, I don't know. Steal. Get the front thing here, I guess. Yeah, yeah, there's multiple runs. It's just like Slay the Spire, you know, like if you die, you just, you, you can start, you know, you start over, you know, with, with a new deck and everything. Dang. I mean, we got, we got to keep purging these. Wait, so is it, what is this whenever playing a Blight card? Okay, these are not Blight cards. So it's like, it's like Slay the Spire with a tower defense kind of aspect. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to do. We're gonna start with this. No, we got the worst, worst guy. Um, I guess you can chill in this room. out in this room with this guy. And then Fimo, what's up? Thanks for the raid, Fima. We're playing this this brand new game, Monster Train. It's is if you know Slay the Spire, it's a similar kind of game to that. It's a deck building game. Keep pumping up this power. So this thing's gonna take 35, this is gonna take 18. Let's kill this. Let's go there. Get this out of deck. Alright, enter. Yeah, usually I play Runeterra. This is, sorry, this is, uh, um, like I, I already streamed five hours of Runeterra today, so I'm just trying this game out. This is my very first time playing it. Also, this is my very first run. Fighting a hard boss currently. Yeah, usually I play Runeterra. I mean, I, I play Runeterra every single day, but I've got like a bonus stream here. All right, so we have, we're protecting for, yeah, those of you just joining, we're protecting our, this pyre. It's got 87 health. This guy has 3,000, or 1,300 health. Yuck. All right, apply rage three to this guy. I need to keep purging these things. I need to get rid of these. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm not I'm not killing this this guy, am I? I guess this guy's gonna stay alive, so he's gonna keep moving up. If you don't if you don't kill the enemies, they they move up the train towards your fire. Ah, oh, so now this guy's gonna strike the fire, but alright, so you don't want damage. Will this do five damage to the, the boss? Can I sting the boss? Does this work? Does this do damage to the boss? Um, like I said, this is my very first run. I can't really say if it's better or worse than Slate the Spire. It, it has awesome, awesome reviews. A lot of people say it just kind of adds a new twist to this kind of uh, genre. I mean, I don't know. We're gonna we're just gonna do this. See what happens. Yes. All right. 55 damage. Let's go. So I can purge this and do 100 damage to that thing, or I can get rid of this. Five damage to that thing. Three more of these, do another 15. All right, so it's a 1,200. I'm gonna take three damage. All right, end turn. All right, it's at 1,091. Hand full. Are these things dying? Oh, dang. No, my guy's dying? Whoa, I don't want my guy to die. Um. Like I said, I need some, I need a defensive guy in front of this guy, didn't I? How much armor do we have here? 15? Do 60 damage? It's 100 damage. How do I keep my champion alive? I don't know if there's a way to keep my champion alive or not. There is, I don't really see it. Play Blight on the bottom. And just kill that, that guy. Looks like the champion would still die. I right, know, because it would only just take five. No, it shouldn't die. Shouldn't die. But is that? Hmm. We can't let him die. All right. Yeah, cause now he just takes five. All right, so only got one mana left. happening up here. Rejuvenate. <laughs> yeah, this music is intense. Things just do damage here. All right, Steelworker. Okay, I like this guy. One up here. Okay. 
heal on this th this guy. Each time we heal him, he gains an additional attack power. Healing him. All right, dealt a good fifty five. Sting in this thing. I guess we're going to purge this thing. I'll just purge this one. All right, next turn. Final wave. So is is it just just this guy now? Fell. It's the final wave with just him. Right, two, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, okay, we can give him some armor. This thing does 100 damage. Down to 724. So I think it's important to do this here because that's like 21 total. Because if he does 10 times 2, so maybe we get to attack twice with this 85 times 2. Oh, I guess it's just attack once. Their guy attacked first. 547 more damage. This thing does 140 damage. That's pretty good. All right, 140 damage. And then we'll purge this. Get that gone for good. And then rejuvenate that. All right. I think we can get this. I don't know. 272. I think we got this. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. 67. Like we're not gonna quite kill him. We have 190 damage before he kills all my stuff. You're cheap. Yeah. But then our, our pyre will take care of him. There we go. Alright, so we took 32 pyre damage. We got a rare pack. Major enhancements. Let's go. All right, Andy Desu. You're going to play this game yourself? All right. Okay, another channel song. That card's great. Enhance a unit with plus 10 health and apply spikes four. This, this could be really good on our champion because our champion's so vulnerable. 
Giving our champion plus 10 health and four spikes. Probably awesome. And then this one. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 15 times the number of imp units in your deck. So do 45 damage. Impolate. Uh, I, I like the, both of these more. This card's great. But then this one... We can keep replaying this. This can just be awesome on our champion. Now nah, let's... This seems ridiculous, though. Yeah, we could get a lot more imps and then start making this a lot more damage. And then... Because it, it keeps coming back. It only costs one mana. And, you know, like, it keeps coming back in our deck. And I can do a lot of damage. That is true. call. Alright, fine. I think it's still one mana do 45 damage. Alright, we're going to do the Light of Seraph. We're going to get an additional capacity on each floor. We need, we need more, more capacity, especially if we're going to try to get more imps. Alright, left or right? Left is more coins, a merchant, of magic and a caverns. We're gonna be upgrading the champion either way. This one is so it's those three things: coins, merchant, caverns. This we get to remove two cards from the deck. I love that. And we get a merchant, and we get to restore some pyre health. Okay, so the two merchants, um, coins or restore health. Probably want to restore. I mean, coins are probably better, but I think removing cards from the deck is just kind of the way to go. We are low on coins, that is true. I'm going to remove two of these torches. Or do I want to remove a train steward also? I'm tired of, like, drawing torches all, all the time. One, one train steward, one torch. Out of here, restore some higher health, upgrade our champion. Go to Reaper 2. Yeah. Reaper 2. And see if there's anything for us to buy. Upgrade a unit, give him four spikes. Upgrade a unit with plus ten attack. Endless. When this unit dies, return its card to the top of the draw pile. Can we do... <laughs> we can't do our champion. Darn. Put it on the big guy. Alright, I like it. I kind of like putting on one of these steel workers. I feel like these steel workers are going to be doing a lot. Right, because like these things st stay alive a long time because they just gain five armor every single turn. They stay alive for a long time. So these things doing. Hmm. 20 damage instead. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it on Steelworker. And then we'll put the spikes on the same steelworker. Or we put the spikes on the other steelworker so they can still get like a, an additional thing that's really good. Maybe the spikes on the hollow that takes like a long time. That thing also takes a long time to kill. 
shoot on this guy. Okay. Um. And there we go. Okay, that battle was tough. That battle is tough. Let's see. Mark of Invasion. At the start of the battle, enemy units appear on each floor. 400 coins. Man. I'm a coward. I'm not doing it. 130 health for that thing? to get the hang of this game. Sting this guy. Yes, 100 coins. Got him. Alright, get this guy additional attack. Have this guy come up and help. Alright, we'll purge this. Um... Forty-five damage there. Restore. I, th I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just wait. I'm just gonna put that shuffle that back in. I just don't need to cast that right now. Oh dang! I really want to do this to, to this guy. Three more rage. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this this game's called Monster Train. It's a new deck building card game that you know, like uh, similar to Slay the Spires, you know that that game. Welder helper over here. And I guess I still just do this. Rejuvenate. Even though it doesn't do any damage right now. Um, and so yeah, trying for the first time. We're doing this run. We're an hour and 20 minutes into our run. Yeah, 136 times two. <laughs> That's pretty silly. Alright, draw a unit and enhance it a bunch. Oh, I don't have any units to draw, I guess. Okay, so I guess we have to have a unit to draw. That makes sense. Um, just kind of cast that at cost zero. Cast that thing. I guess you can go hang out up there. Okay, end the turn. Just cast some more of those things. Damage to the front enemy units. Both these guys are already going to die. We'll just continue to heal our big guy. And I'm, I don't know, I might as well cast it. Or just, you know, it goes away at end of turn anyway. Okay, 
killing all their guys too fast. Keep healing. Heal, heal. So I guess I just end turn, right? Like I can't, these don't actually do anything. I guess they just say draw one additional card the next turn. Final wave, all right, the boss, 900 health. Start stinging it, five damage, draw a card. Next turn. Implode, 45 damage. What's the max health of this guy? 18? All right, so yeah, we'll do this one. Heal that guy up. Yeah, he's gonna die 190 times two. All right, dead. And by the time he actually like attacks and kills this, the front one, our champion is slaying. Awesome. Flawless victory. Yeah, do you even have to do you even need the second floor? Maybe we need the second floor a little bit, but deal 100 damage to friendly and enemy units? No. Um, another impolate consume double armor on a unit. That could be pretty sweet. We'll take another impolate though, just do 45. Right now, especially if we can get another imp. Um, I don't really, I don't think we need to draw an additional card each turn. We already have so many cards. That's not bad. I kind of like this ensnare. It'll be good against the boss. Or a preserve, another preserved thorns. We already, we have like too many cards. Let's go with this ensnare. Oh, ensnare doesn't work on bosses. Oh, because it's enemy units. Hmm. Boss immune. Well, I guess we'll get this preserved thorns. Maybe I should have just taken 10. Honestly, maybe I should have just taken 10 coins. Okay. We're in the eighth ring of hell now, going down with our, our train. And so we can take the left or right path. So left path. Remove two cards from the deck. I like it. Duplicate any card. Ooh, I like that. Um, 75 coins. Okay. Or we can gain an artifact. Oh, that's great. And then try to buy something else and get the caverns that were kind of random. If I go this way, I'm not like buying anything. Yeah, because we have lots of coins now. So like another 75 coins doesn't really help. So this is remove two cards and duplicate any other card in our deck. What would we duplicate? We can't duplicate our champion, of course. Would it just be duplicating this guy? Or the Awaken, the Awoken Hollow? Hmm. Yeah, maybe we should just go right. Gain this artifact. Alright. Let's gain artifact. What do we get? Apply days three to enemy units that move between floors outside of the ascension phase. 50% chance to apply days when an enemy unit enters your train. Neither of these are really that great. Neither of these are very good. Yeah, I, mean, I guess because neither of these work on bosses, right? Like, does this, does this apply to, like, neither of them apply to bosses, right? Because it's enemy units. I don't really care if we're dazing any of the non, the enemy units. It protects my units. I guess that's, okay, I guess that's true, because it skips the their attack. Okay. All right, yeah, that's probably worth 25 gold. All right, what do we get in the caverns? Both chests have a strange lock mechanism that looks like they can be picked with shards of the pyre. The more decorated chests might take a few more tries. 
So we lose 25 pyre health and get 150 coins. Or lose 5 pyre health, get 25 coins. I, I want to do this one. Let's get a lot of coins. Lots of coins. Alright, what can we buy? Um. <laughs> no, both these are already slots full. How does that work with like this? Or let's see, impel aid. Like, what does this do? Okay, it's just 45 plus 10 damage. Plus 10 damage. Store 20 health, and then deal damage to the front enemy unit to five times that, so we could do 100 damage if we were do get to restore 20 health. Yeah. Okay. And then we could purge. <laughs> I kind of need more. I need more imps. I kind of. I don't have enough. I don't have like enough things to be out there. I guess we would purge a torch. No, like I. I like don't have enough bodies to like fill up all three levels. <laughs> so like I can't really get rid of another train steward. I don't have enough bodies. I don't really like this though. Upgrade, remove, consume, get cost plus one. We have what? One consume this channel song? Oh, uh, the preserved thorns also. Yeah, we really don't need more thorns. Oh. Um, Alright, what do we want to have cost zero mana? This restoration de detonation cost zero mana. Battering ram cost two. No, I think it's either impolate or restoration detonation. We have just cost zero. Probably impolate that we just always, whenever we draw this, we do 45 damage for free. <laughs> Alright, should we purge another torch or save the gold? Oh, is it final boss? This is level current current ring eight. They're... Is this final boss? It is. <laughs> hmm. Well, then I'm I'm worried we don't. I I need. I need, like, one more good unit. Okay, well. Final boss? The end is near. Power to cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. Whatever. Do whatever you want, Seraph. We gonna kill you. The 
Bane and Pump, Pump decks? Is that my deck? Am I a... Am I gonna get wrecked by this buff and debuff thing? Does act I don't think this actually does anything right now. I don't know, might as well cast it though. Yeah, doesn't do anything. Okay. You come on up here, Woken Hollow. Yeah, 2,300 HP. <clears throat> that seems like a lot. It's gonna kill all my stuff. This looks really silly. Deal 2 damage, 2,288 life. Like, what are we doing here? 2 damage? Like, what, what are we doing? Alright, let's just sting this thing. Get rid of that. Um, oh yeah, I wish we had like another imp in the deck. Like this, 60. What you, okay, we have one capacity, one capacity. All right, so train steward right here. Fire rage three. Spell the double stack of frostbite, you can get a boss to 999 stacks of frostbite, so they lose 999 damage a turn. What? Uh, I have all of these stings, but he is right here. Right, so we can go three rage to these guys. See, I only have like enough spots for like two good, two two good floors. I need I need some more of these guys. I shouldn't have burned so many of these train stewards. Um, oh, I don't have enough ember for that. have like three health. Rejuvenate. I already cast so many stings. I can't even cast this thing yet. That is true, we should 
I should be focusing on trying to let the hero kill stuff, because every time it deals a killing blow, gets plus 20 attack. That is true. Sting you, sting you, sting you. 45 damage. Um. This guy, additional attack. Additional attack. Two damage, two damage. things. How do we keep getting more of these? Um, damage. Oh, let's check down here. Okay, so right now this guy's going to take 13 damage. Ooh, yes. Do 100. 105. Love it. Slays with our champion. Another 45 damage. Um, guess we just give this more attack. more waves. I need more waves. I need this guy to attack for more. Oh no. Final wave. All these are going to die. And he just takes four damage. Oh no. Now he takes 256. Yeah, we in trouble. This isn't helping. Draw any units again? Why can't we draw any units? Where are they at? Oh, so if they die, they don't. Okay, if they're die, they don't go back to your draw pile when they die. Oh, they're removed from the deck. Oh, then I, I probably should have grabbed that thing. That there's that card that like whenever they die it goes back. Or, like there's that ability I could have bought that like puts it back on top of your deck. I thought that it just put it back on top instead of shuffling it in. I just thought it would have been shuffled in. Whoops. Um. All 
I'm already drawing like infinite cards. Next turn. Oh well, I guess we still cast. Yeah, nice. Z Sting staying in your deck. I have too many stings. So I have, I have a few things that we did that I did wrong, but you know, learning good learning experience. I definitely did some things wrong with this run, but we got to the final boss. Yeah, I definitely should not have got a second one of those. So, learned a good amount. Got to the final boss. Uh, this final boss is going to kill us. Good run. No. Our pyre crystal. All right, so we got a new clan unlocked. Draft to support the ancient. Uh, draft the support of the ancient guard of the Stygian Sea, mystical. Sirens and ancient totems work together to eradicate the, the winged from hell. Heaven wins. So heaven wins most of the time. Oh, really? So if you can redo the final boss fight and you will draw the same cards in the same order? That's really cool. Um, move a unit to the front and apply 10 armor. Alright, so we're awoken level two. So these are these just like new cards I guess we get to use like that, that like we'll just like randomly find in runs the, the next time. Apply regen two and two spikes. Yes, yeah, so, so these are just now cards that we can find um, in additional runs. So you level up your Hellhorned and your Awake Awoken. So we're level two of each one. Our card collection. How many we've discovered? Okay, so there's yeah, so those are like the three, the three clans. We just unlocked this clan. Okay, and so here's like a, like a book of the cards. Page one of 22. Hmm, interesting. Nice art. I like, like this book thing. This is pretty cool. Okay, so now you can go main clan Hellhound back up by Awoken or Stygian. Or you go Awoken and back up by Hellhound or Stygian and so on. Okay. So you choose, like out of the three clans, you choose which one's your main one. And then um, what is your... Then these are like the different artifacts that we found so far. We've seen. Covenant rank zero. So imp cup, imp cup is levels one through nine. Then there's a ten through nineteen, twenty through twenty-four, and twenty-five. Ooh. Okay. So cool. So yeah, we, we leveled up Hellhorned a lot more because that was our main clan, looks like, and then Awoken was our backup. 
Okay. And then you just start over, I guess. New run is the next button. It doesn't even go to main it doesn't even go to the menu. And then you can check out your run history and everything like that. Awesome, and then you can start start all over. So there we go. Fun definitely a fun game, that's for sure. Monster train. Okay. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, let me know what you think of Monster Train. If you've been playing it yourself, um, yeah, give give leave those comments. Let me know what you think of uh, this game. If you want to see some more of it on a stream and everything like that. XL, your longest win streak is three, and you're stuck on Covenant one ten. Okay. Um, but yes, that was an hour fifty minutes, a real good run. All right, anyway. That's it for our first video with Monster Train. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.